so today I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, plan a baby shower um I'm trying to show you guys how to plan a baby shower because I feel like it's something that um everyone may have to do in the future because I most of us have sisters or um friends that we're really close to um some of you guys are gonna have wives that you might want to plan a baby shower for and it's not just about how to plan a baby shower it's also kind of like how to plan a party in an organized way in a not so stressful way and try to make everything better for you and the people that are helping you plan a party in this case it will be a baby shower the reason i chose to do a baby shower is because my sister is actually pregnant and she is gonna have a baby girl and i'm planning this baby shower for her because i'm her only sister and i thought it would be something really nice of me to do for her um this is my first time planning her a baby shower since my mom did plan my other niece's baby shower so my sister's first child um with the research i've done for this speech i actually did find it very helpful for me now that i'm planning myself well not myself i'm planning my like i'm planning a baby shower for my sister by myself <laughs> that's what i meant not for myself okay so uh one of the biggest factors in planning a baby shower is when so you need to be aware of the weather and the time and everything it's so important so if it's in the middle of the winter you would probably want to have a baby shower indoors correct so that's why choosing one is also a good time and also a very very important factor is realizing that once the mom hits 35 weeks pregnant that baby could possibly come out anytime so the baby shower should be planned about the mom's 30th to 33 weeks pregnant so that's about seven months i think i actually don't know but I do know the rest um so yeah deciding when is key to everything basically if it's hot outside you could probably do it in a park and you could probably host more people and stuff like that um so getting a guest list as I said very important because you need to make sure that the guest list includes the moms or the soon-to-be mom um friends family high school college friends she had work co-workers you know people she enjoys and genuinely will support her through having her first or second or third or fourth child you know and it also the amount of people you invite will actually affect the budget so you might want to be careful there so yeah that's very important and you also need to find a host so that could be a sister the mom sister-in-law best friend a host that will be willing to kind of speak up and be like oh we're gonna play games now or oh we're gonna eat and just chill for a while and then play games or let's have some cake you know you know who wants to be a host um start starting with a theme is key according to babylist.com so the theme will obviously be according to the baby's gender um, it could be blue for a boy, that's typically what goes and happens. Or it could be pink, purple for a girl. It could be mini. I've seen a lot of do people do like boats, and then they also do like sunflowers, bees, ducks. I've seen a lot of that recently. Um, so, you know, starting off with the theme is very kind of setting off the tone for how the invitations will be. So, you know, set the tone with invitations because the invitations should be sent out about three weeks before the baby shower and it will set off a tone for how many you know if you want a very big baby shower really family friend baby shower if you wanted to make it like a cookout baby shower or just uh, the invitations will set off the tone for how you want to do this and According to aboutamom.com, you need to be aware if this, if the mom's baby is the first, second, or third child. Why is it so important? It's very important to know if 
if this is the mom's first baby, you need to know that the mom probably doesn't have everything. So it's her first baby. She may not have a car seat. She may not have a crib. She may not have diapers or like onesies. She may not have anything at all. So if it's the first baby, it's kind of important to put it on the invitation, maybe make a little riddle or something. And um, yeah, so the people kind of know that she isn't really prepared because it's the first child and realistically parents aren't prepared on the third child and they don't really know what they're doing. Um, yeah, so there's that. And if it's second baby, the mom probably has some stuff, like a crib. And she probably has a lot of little mini essentials that moms need. And if, you know, so then, so then the, so then the guests can buy like, just minor things like a onesie, or a toy for the baby. So they're not as big gifts, if you know what I'm trying to go at. That's very important. So according to thesprouse.com, you need to break the ice with the guest. So by breaking the ice with the guest, you need to basically play games. Because remember, these guests aren't your friends, they're the mom's friends. And you may not know them. And the mom may know everybody, but it's very important that everyone gets to know each other. So by that, you can play some games. So um, this is a very popular game that people like to play. So it's where you measure the mom's tummy. And it's just a way that you can make everyone become friends. And so yeah, just icebreakers in a way. But it's not like high school icebreakers where you're just gonna, what's your name? You know, it's like, let's play games. And remember, it has to be appropriate because it's a baby shower. I've seen a lot of videos of people do really weird stuff and it's not a bachelor party. It's a baby shower, a baby. So, um. I kind of want to get with some decoration stuff that I kind of thought I could show you guys since I'm kind of planning my sister's baby shower. Um, so we are having a baby girl and I actually named the baby which is so exciting. Um, the baby's name is going to be Gianna which is Italian and it basically means mercy in Italian. And we're going with these two colors, fuchsia and light pink and we're just going to make there's streamers. And we did get we did get these like wooden stuff. They're wood. We're gonna paint them and write her like name letter by letter. So we have these that are gonna be super cute, I think. And then we did get like tissue paper. So we're gonna make like little flower stuff. So we did get tissue paper. And again, we're doing with the fuchsia and light pink since it's a girl. And for the balloons, we thought I didn't want it too much pink again, so we got some white balloons with some gold in it. And we got some of this for our background. Um, so, yeah. Planning a baby shower is not the easiest thing, and it's also very important to keep yourself organized so that you don't make yourself go crazy, because that happens a lot. These tips may not just be for a baby shower, you know, when you're planning your wedding someday, you may want to know, you know, how to stay organized. Staying organized is key for everything in life. So therefore, I think that this video can help anyone when even planning maybe your sister's birthday party or your mom's birthday party or someday your own child's birthday party. I think these tips are kind of just... They focus on a baby shower, but you can definitely think about it as you plan other stuff, you know? Bachelorette parties, birthday parties, quinceañeras, Christmas, if you have a big family. I just think it's very important to always stay organized and make sure that you're kind of planning this with like three months in ahead in a way, if for smaller parties, obviously. Three months in ahead, so you go order by order and you just have it all together. And I hope you guys found this very useful 
because these tips actually saved me from planning a shower, baby shower in a month. So I hope it helps you guys and yeah, thank you for watching.